I am boatless. No boat do I have. Well, kind of, sort of. Ready running guns, time for blast off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here with you. Welcome back to Bass 101 Truck Talk. I am boatless. I can't say I'm boatless. Um, I still have the canoe, but I'm done. I am done with that canoe. It's it's not the fact that the canoe's a bad thing to fish out of. The, the canoe that I built and modified, it's awesome on the water. I, mean, I really like it. What I don't like about it is it's hard to load and unload on the truck. And I thought about a trailer and uh, you know, good luck finding a, a trailer at a really, really good price. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to find a trailer and then have to modify it to work with a canoe and do all this kind of stuff. I just want to buy a canoe trailer and I found them around 15 to 2000 and I'm kind of like, man. And the last time I went fishing was just a couple of weeks ago and I was so pissed off by the time I got home. I mean, I was really mad. That's my wife. I hadn't, I hadn't, I haven't been that mad in a long time. I was in, I was almost in tears. I was so mad. And I think it, I think it was, I was more mad at myself than I was the, the canoe, uh, you know, trying to unload it at the lake and I made a ramp system so I can just like pull it up, you know, on the truck and lower it down the truck on a ramp system. Fell off the ramp unloading it, almost turned completely over on me. I get it to the to the ramp, and the way I have it set up is I unstrap the wheels, you know, the, the cart from it. So all I do is just back it down to the ramp, let it float off the cart, and I jerk the cart out from underneath it with a rope. That didn't work. And I end up turning the thing over and collected water inside of it, and half the stuff came spilling out of it. I had to get in the water and get it out. That's far I even hit the water. And then by the time I got it back, of course I gotta drag everything back up. I gotta carry the battery and the trolling motor to the truck. And I you know, gotta put the ramp back out and everything. And of course I pull it up the ramp. What does it do? It falls off the ramp trying to pull it up on the truck. Man, I was so mad. And not only that, but I sliced the back of my neck on the prop of my trolling motor, cut it wide open. Well, and that was, that was in the morning before I went fishing. I was like, God. And I got back to the house and it falls off the ramp again. And then it got bound up in the ramp. I couldn't get it off. I was going, ah. I just slammed it on the A-frame that I keep it on at the house and everything. And I haven't touched it since. And I've already talked to a few people about it, about selling it. And they're interested. And they said, what's wrong with it? Nothing, dude. I said, I just, I can't handle it. I don't have rotator cuffs anymore, and it's just hard for me to get leverage on the thing to load it and unload it. Bad investment on my part, but that's because of my limited mobility. It has nothing to do with the canoe. So I'm on the way in a couple of days to go get a 12-foot John boat on a trailer. So the days of the river fishing that you've seen on all these videos for the last couple of years, that's gone. I won't be going back there. Even though it's literally right behind the house, I won't be going back there anymore. Um, there is a ramp that access to it, but it's not the greatest ramp. And it's basically a ramp for canoes and stuff like that. It's not really for boats. I've seen guys put boats in there. But you, but you got to wrestle it, and it's not really a ramp. It's made for something like like I want to do. It's very short, maybe two feet in the water. So yeah, it's not, and it's got and it's rocks all after that. So yeah, it's not the best ramp to put in at. There, are, there are rivers I have around here that 
you know, within an hour's drive, something like that, that I could put in at, and that's fine. Um, you know, I, I don't live too far from the New River, and I don't live too far from the James River. So, you know, 1236 Tracker Grizzly, fully welded, and I'll have it souped up as well, but I learned a lot on this canoe. I learned a lot, and as far as what I want from a boat and everything, I'm not going to put a gas outboard on this thing. One, I don't want to deal with the maintenance um, with, a, with a gas outboard. So I'm planning on putting an 80 pound thrust on the back 24 volt, taking the 55 pound thrust I had on the canoe, putting it on the front. I'll jerk a knot in your head. <laughs> Imagine both of them together. Woo! I might actually be able to hit seven mile an hour in that thing. Oh man. <laughs> but I also plan on putting a cable steering system in it like uh like Doug Hannon had in his in his 14 footer and uh, that way I can steer it from the front and control it from the front so I don't have to do anything in the back except I, I, I'll have a main pulley cord where I can pull the trolling motor up and lock it in place so if I get in real shallow water I can at least lift it up and I'll actually have another seat in this thing too so I can, in case one of my buddies want to go with me they can um, but you know, twelve footer. I I want to go look at it first before I get it, but I have a feeling it's probably going to end up getting getting anyway. But just want to let you guys know that the old canoe, those days are gone. So I've gone from a kayak to a canoe to now a John boat, <laughs> and maybe I could stand up in this one once in a while. I don't know. Like I said, I got too much bill dancing me. I'm liable to tip that thing over, but. Just wanted to catch you guys up on what's going on with the channel and what's going on with stuff that I'm looking at. And uh, so, yeah, I'll you know, have river episodes down the road, but they're not going to be near as much as, say, reservoir fishing. So it's kind of, I've almost done like a, like a flip-flop on this thing. I've gone from all the time river fishing to now all the time reservoir fishing, especially out of Lake X. Because it's only, like I said, a 20-minute drive from the house. And it's a beautiful lake. So I'm looking forward to getting back on that again here within the next... That's, that takes about a month to get everything from the DMV or from the Game and Fish Commission anyway. So i got to wait for the numbers to come in. But, you know, that gives me the time to wire everything up and, I don't know, figure out what, how I'm going to do everything. You don't know till you try. At least I have a trailer and something I can work on <laughs> without the thing teeter-tottering all the time. So, I don't know. But I just want to catch you guys up on that. Let you know where I'm, where I'm at right now. So, anyway, until next time, remember, new techniques are trendy, but bass never change. May the Father bless you and keep in Yeshua's name, and as always, fish on.